guys! So today is going to be probably the last haul video in a long time. I'm not going to tell you right now, but I'm sure once I film later on you'll know why, what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, I'll be moving um, temporarily uh, for work and I hopefully will not be coming back depending on how it goes, but um, I'll be filming in a different environment, different light, um, even though today I decided I think this is the best area where I want to film because this is pretty much where it's going to be the most natural lighting for for my room. Um, so, and that's a cute little background right there. Um, but yeah, today's going to be the last haul video in a while. It's not going to be too big. Um, it's only like three things and I know you're probably wondering why are you filming a video if it's only three things but I basically couldn't include it in the last makeup video because it definitely didn't have anything to do with makeup so it's just um, like a jacket and like two shoes but the jacket actually forgot to include it in, in a last previous video but I just forgot so I just threw it together today and it's just going to be pretty much maybe the last whole video you'll see in a while which is you know totally unlike chic camille pad over here because you know she just shops and hauls every single week but um, it's gonna be the last one for a while I feel like unless I get somehow online shopping transported to my area so um, but yeah it's kind of bittersweet and sad but I'm definitely gonna give you the most exciting experience today with these three items um, and I want to start with the jacket first because it is like the most highly, or not highly requested, most amazingly talked about piece of thing in my closet wardrobe right now. And this is a leather jacket from Zara. Um, it's definitely not real leather because if it was real leather it would be like $800 which I can never understand why leather costs so much but I mean whatever. This is probably the most you're going to get closest thing you'll get to real leather. I mean it's not like faux leather, it's synthetic leather. It's definitely like a better kind of leather. Um, and I want to tell you what the material is because shell is 100% lambskin so yeah I was right it was kind of semi real leather. I mean it came from Italy but the inner shell which I'm guessing is inside is 100% polyester so Polyester, um, as you know, would probably be something you find at Forever 21. Um, but this is the reason why I got this jacket versus other leather jackets. I know all of the the trends now for leather jackets have like studded or or spikes or kind of some studs, hardcore rocker details on the lapels or the shoulders. But I wanted something that's more classic and you can wear with more things. And for me, I picked up this. It doesn't have too much a of a collar right here. It's just like a singular kind of biker collar. Call this my motorcycle jacket because it looks like I have a, a rad motorcycle but the reason why I got it is because the shoulder pads and the sleeves right here they kind of remind me of um, what do you call it oh Burberry like they're new or not they're new but they're trench coats um, they have leather detailing and they're just their leather jackets they kind of have this um, very Justin Timberlakey um, kind of spacey just a really different feature for leather jackets and I really like this because it just looks so modern and is different you don't really see this too much on leather jackets and you can zip this um, and roll the sleeves up uh, according to how you want to wear it and as you can see the little um, I guess you could call it stack columns are on some of the shoulder and then a little bit off the shoulder too so that's like my favorite feature out of this jacket and then as you can see like in the middle section the body um, like the lapels there aren't really any lapels it kind of um, just cuts out into like an asymmetrical style um, there's like a, a double zipper feature right there um, yeah so as you can see it just like kind of flops out like that there's nothing really special about like the middle but it looks like it's very asymmetrical when you wear it and um, there's another zipper right there as you can see and then the back um, there's nothing really special on the back it's just plain um, just a singular line going down but then as you can see right here um, on both sides it has more of this buckling detail so you can um, kind of tighten up the jacket on the side if you want, but I kind of just wear it like that. I don't really want to uh, mess with it too much because I don't really mind it. I don't need to tighten it anymore. 
Um, so yeah, that's on both of the sides. And when I wear this to work, which I do wear this to work, and people think I'm a hardcore chick, um, I just wear my walkie on it. And it's just a good place to keep it because there's not really any place on this jacket to wear it on. But um, I'm sure you're wondering the size because it definitely probably looks a little bigger than um, some of the jackets they're used to wearing. Um, but this is a size medium because... When I tried it on in the store, which when I um, went shopping one day and this was like the only Zara store near me, and I saw it and I couldn't believe that they had it, and I tried on the small, or yeah, I tried on the small and it was like so tight and did not know if it was my arms, and I know I kind of look a little beefed up right now, so I definitely know I wasn't fat at the time when I tried it on, so I was like, oh, at that time I was like, I need to get a medium, so... When I saw that this went on sale, and I have a whole story to tell you about this jacket going on sale, because it was originally $250. Okay, it's probably, you know, outright ridiculous for you, which it is. Probably the most expensive jacket I'll ever have, but I mean, it's worth it for an investment piece like that. You can wear with literally everything. And um, so I went on sale, like, I want to say, not Christmas Eve, but... Um, sometime around Christmas, the end of December, and I wanted to buy it because it was on my, like, to-do list, and I didn't care what the price was, but then all of a sudden I got an email, um, because I'm subscribed to Zara's newsletters, and it said that everything was going on sale, like, end of the year, like, every single item, and then I, when I realized that I had already purchased the item full price at $250, and I immediately canceled my order because I saw that this jacket was now $199, which, you know, $50 off isn't that much. But hey, it's better than nothing, and it's better than having to pay that, and then that's shipping and tax. So, um, yeah, it ended up being like $260, $270, I want to say. And when I bought the on the sale price, it was only like two thirteen with the tax or whatever. So I was super glad I saw that, and I was super glad that Zara had a very simplified and easy process. You could just cancel your order like that and um, just order the new one. So I was really scared for a while because I know my credit card was gonna look like crazy because um, I. I had to I had to buy it and rebuy it and cancel it. It is a whole mess, but I'm glad that it got straightened out. And moral of the story, I'm glad that I waited because I know places like Zara, when they do have a lot of overstock and online, especially in their inventory, that um, you, it's better to wait than just to bite the bullet now um, at that time because I know it definitely looks enticing and you want to get it because you just want to have it in your possession and wear it, but. I swear it is definitely worth the wait if you can because it will go on sale. It's something I learn every single season Zara does have sale and almost everything is going to be on sale so lesson learned. Um, and then now the shoes which I got these and the first one are more like work shoes so I know they're going to look really boring for you with the camera um, but they're Anne Klein and I kept the box it's a navy so she has pretty good shoes and this one is called AK Rava or Rava and it's in the color brown multi and it's um, like a synthetic or a patent I believe and here's the shoes in the box they're like of a tortoise shell kind. it's that tortoise tortoise shell print that you see um, a lot of times with J. Crew and like headbands, um, hair clips um, out of this tortoise shell. It's very classic and I thought I could wear it with a lot of like trouser pants and like um, just nice kind of chino cutoff pants and it's just like a simple heel. This um, heel isn't really too ridiculous. It's really definitely walkable but still gives you height and I don't, um, it's not like 100% real patent, I don't believe it's like just it says all quality man-made materials, but Anglin's pretty expensive anyways, and when I tried it on, I knew I just had to have it because I know it'd be great with the suits that I have now, and I do have an Anglin suit that's navy, and I think that would just match really perfectly with that, and um, this is their iFlex, so iFlex, I am, if you're not familiar, with Anne Klein, I guess that's upside down, but it is um, probably her most famous, popular, comfortable, um, comfortable material uh, technology. It's called iFlex. And I know we sell these in flats, um, Anne Klein flats in the store, and with a little uh, flower on the on the shoe, the toe area. 
and all the customers are women love it like it's just the most comfortable thing on on your feet it's kind of like wearing a driving moccasin which have you seen the driving moccasin it's like stuff that like Gwen Stefani wears it has like um um, like little rubber chunks that are cut up into little Lego pieces on the bottom that it continues on the heel so it's just like it looks like a little loafer and then it has like more um, rubberized support on the back of the heel so yeah anyways this has iFlex technology and I don't know if you like this print I don't care but I think it's really just classy cute you can wear it with like a lot of work stuff so um, I'm sure a lot of working women know what I'm talking about. They have a lot of like tortoisey or brown neutral things. So here's just the print up close. I think it's really interesting too. It looks very um, almost spacey, like like something you find in like <laughs> outer space. It's time to revisit them because who doesn't love a good booty for the winter or spring? And I picked up this one by Andrew Geller. The box is definitely not attractive. It reminds me of some really bad lame. TV hit show series from the 70s or 80s and I just don't like the box so I don't know I might keep it but um, this is called the Fabry or Fabry um, booty in the sandstone suede and both of these are in a size 7 and this one was not as on sale as the other one though that was 50% off these are 70% off so that kind of stinks but I mean for right now I think it is a good deal because most booties you'll see are not on sale this is more of a true um, grayish or grayish I want to say gray and taupe or gray and beige put together so it's a, a nice taupe and a gray and I know my other booty I had from Crown Vintage which is another suede material it's um, it says that it's gray but it definitely looks more brown than the gray and this definitely looks gray so I would say a perfect description is gray because it's a combination of both and what drew me to this is oh I already wore this shoe I forgot this shoe is so comfortable I wore this um couple hours with some nice boot cut jeans which I know boot cut wow you never see me wear boot cut um this I got it because of the little um pattern or not pattern this intricate de detail right here on the side of the ankle it looks very cute something you would see in like a designer shoe something like folded twisted yeah twisted knotted um, I just like that detail for some reason it looks very natural and very classy and still cool at the same time and the heels kind of cool too it's more of like a different colored of wood and it has like stripes on it so I mean it's not that apparent but it's really good quality and it's nice suede and leather that really bends and folds with you like it's just really comfortable and my feet were not hurting at all I think I'm gonna wear this to work today actually and it has a zipper side um, side zipper on the inside of your shoe so it's definitely for easy access and um, here's just the inside of the shoe if you're looking at it's called Andrew Geller no you can't see the Geller but this one is actually made of leather upper and balanced man-made material so all of this outside when it says upper it's gonna be all real leather and or a component of leather and then the inside it has more balanced materials but still it's a really good boot for for this quality and I know it's a big kind of boring just like a basic booty but you kind of want to have more basic shoes as you get older I feel like and just to go with more outfits and this is definitely a neutral that I don't have I know I have something similar to this but it's more of like a stacked stiletto booty with like buckles so it's kind of different so um, hope you guys like that it's a size 7 and it fits me like a glove like you don't need to get another size bigger um, so yeah that's definitely enough rambling but um, thank you guys so much for watching like I said I'm gonna bring my video and my camera or not camera equipment what am I talking about my tripod with me to where I'm going I'm gonna keep it a secret for a while but uh, one of my main goals is to do when I get there is to update my blog as I'm doing YouTube videos so it's just hard but um, I am trying to do go above and beyond this year 2013 is going to be a good blog year and a good video year so um, until then I will talk to you guys later on the other side of town bye